game is this? It all started as a normal summer weekend. I escaped to my mountain retreat for the weekend seeking peace, solitude, peace of mind, and tranquility. My hope was that by surrounding myself in the beauties of nature, I could temporarily escape the normal and mundane. The lush green mountains of the Uintas captivated my senses with its sights, sounds, and vicious wildlife. It was a weekend all to myself. A weekend to truly be myself. A weekend to surround myself with the beauties that Mother Nature has to offer. A weekend that I would not soon forget. But little did I know, this weekend would be far different than from what I originally expected. Oh, and there's one more reason to why I came up here as well. Ah, <sighs> Minasan. This is Chief Skarnik. How you all doing? I'm doing wonderful, thank you. Welcome to my humble mountain abode. This is my family's cabin up here in the woods, and they let me use this cabin for the weekend to help film this video. Why? Because there's a lot less distractions up here than there are at home. That's not to say that I'm going to be doing a lot of videos up here. I probably will every now and again, but it's not going to be a really usual thing. Today I just want to take the opportunity to finally get to something that I told myself I was going to do, and a lot of people I was going to do, but haven't got around to it yet. I'm going to review an animated show on YouTube called Succubus Loveless. Succubus Loveless was created by fellow Let's Player Lil Mal5, also known as Adam Fuster. He got together with his friend Sebastian Busk and wrote out a plot together, and with the magic of simple animation, 
Adam turned it into a series of videos that is, as of this video being made, seven episodes long so far, with many more planned on the way. Adam recruited several voice actors from across the web to help voice the characters, some of which are also members of the Blunderbolt. Check us out, we're awesome! Since Adam wants to go into the animation field, this is his means of breaking out and testing his skills for the whole world to see. Since he and I are pretty close friends, I figured that I should do a review of this series and try to get the word out. Of course this is not a professionally made show, so I'm going to cut them some slack on this one. Because the director, the writers, the animator, and the voice actors are not all professionals. So I may go easy on them just a little bit. But if there is something that I do have to bring up in order to, I don't know, help improve the show, then I will do that. Well, without further ado, let's get to it. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Succubus Loveless. Play that soul. I wish I was a little bit taller, so every time I step into the record store, I wouldn't have to holler. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm only 5'6", got the bricks for the fix to raise me up in it. So I can see the Whitney records from here, they're in my view, and you can help me for a second. I will always love you. She's my girl, oh wait, was that CCR too? Man, go back up the ladder, I'm about to revive you. They call me Proud Mary, got a spell on you. If you heard it through the grapevine, then you know that it's true. It's like this and like that, satisfaction, boo. You can push me and touch me if you really want to. This is Ivy on the mic with the quad in view. You can call me Redwood when this beat rolls through. Cause the roots are so deep, they'd swallow you. Plus we always so high, we be taller than all of you. Okay, let's talk about the intro a little bit. Because putting a song like that in an intro of a show like this is almost the equivalent if I took, like, Final Riders, for example, and for its theme song, I used Daft Punk. That would be freaking awesome, but it would not fit. And sadly, that's the case with the intro here. Because, of course, whenever I think of an animated show about someone who goes to school to learn about how to deal with mystical creatures and to learn magic spells or anything, I think about some short girl who goes into a record store wanting to buy some records, but she's too short, so, uh, she just raps about it. Yep. Yep. Seems legit. Episode 1, Rotten Branch, begins in some what monastery in the middle of who knows me. where, where we come across a school where a Jawa with King Sombra's horn tests out his magical abilities. Uh, that's John for you, using high-level spells. <laughs> Boy, someone spent way too much time playing RPGs. Alright class, time for history. This here monk is played by Edward James, who will now kindly explain to us the premise of the series. <laughs> Except for one boy who is the son of the So did you catch all that? Basically the world is inhabited by humans and creatures called yokai. The term yokai is generally used to describe spirits or other creatures and monsters in Japanese mythology. There was a war that took place between the two inhabitants, and on the human side was Charles Caliber, who found some strange ring. He reluctantly put it on, but was found dead later on. So because of this, the war went to heck, and the Caliber bloodline has been mocked ever since. Except for one boy, who is the son of the main family right now. Ronald Caliber. The rotten part of the family's tree trunk is how the villagers label him. Even I agree, he's a troublemaker for never turning up for classes. Is Ronald Caliber really that bad? Not bad, mostly... Lazy. Weak. Bad-mannered. A stereotypical anime protagonist. He isn't even in class now. That good-for-nothing layabout should be kicked out of the temple. I'm Gary Oak, the best Pokemon trainer in Palette. Enter Ronald Caliber, voiced by Toddy Harold. Yo, Solid, what's up? 
Oh, he's one of those anime characters that uses surfer lingo. Seems legit. Sky. And this is Solid, clouds, voiced by Adam Fuser himself. Birds, sun. Uh huh? What are you talking about, Solid? You asked what was up. Yeah, as you can tell, Solid is one of those characters without much personality or intelligence, but serves as Ronald's protector and quote unquote best friend. Dude, we've really got to work on your sentence structure. As well as your emotional structure for that matter. Oh yeah, I heard that outside the village on the 1st of April, people trick each other and then afterwards say, April Fool, like it was all a game they were playing. What kind of tricks? Well, you know, there's the stupid stereotypical fake movie trailers, or every now and then they do like show cancellations, or game cancellations, or game announcements that never happen, or people saying they're pregnant, or some people saying that someone died, you know. It's just the worst day in the world if you're an internet junkie like I am. So, I feel kind of glad for these guys how they're kind of sheltered away, pushed away from the rest of society, so they don't have to go through all the crap that April Fools have to bring. Uh, like this. Tomorrow, I'm moving out of the village. No! April Fool! Also, who says April Fool after doing an April Fool's joke? It's April Fool's. I, I don't know, I'm sorry. That's just me being really stingy. I like that sometimes. If you leave, you will be in danger. <laughs> Not going anywhere, Solid. <laughs> That's the kind of thing you... Wait, huh? What do you mean I'll be in danger? Because, Ronald, if you leave the village, everyone will make fun of you for wearing poop brown robes. You also have to worry about internet trolls, corrupt politicians, retarded celebrities, and North Korea. So we best for you to stay here in the shelter village. Bells this morning. Someone was found. White. Drained. Um, Solid? What are you talking about? Stories of unwanted figure. Fangs. Holes in the neck. Basically, Blackhead here means that a dead body got found. Okay, but that doesn't explain the flippin' holes in the neck or the fangs of this unwanted figure. Dead? Yes, I could not find the Words to say I don't know it. why, but this scene Without seems you way too serious scared. and dramatic than it should be. Quiet, black man. You can't even say the alphabet, let alone say actual words. Why don't you just shut up, John? Solid's never done anything wrong to you. Hey, Donny even knows the meaning of wrong. <laughs> oh, 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 I think I'm really going to hate this John person. Good thing we only see him in the first episode. Then we never see him again. Yay! <laughs> Show you. Why magic level six? Pulse barrier. <laughs> you can't say anything, seeing as how you don't even know a single spell. Enough. John, you butthole, you die. Be ready for. Smash! Don't even think about it, blockhead. If you harm any of us, we'll, we'll just say you beat us up for no reason at all. And I'll just say that you provoked him by flinging me across the floor. And who's gonna believe the rotten branch of the family tree? Just go. Yeah, I'm trustworthy. Look at my evil red horn. Play the rotten tree branch. Just go. I'm meant to be the heir to the Caliber family. I'm supposed to be one of the strongest things in this village right now. So it seems like Ronald is a lost cause. What could possibly make him reach his full potential? I heard. Of a ring. Of your family. A ring? The ring of Charles Calibur. Um, I don't know what this ring is, but you think it could make me stronger? I hope so. Wait a minute, he doesn't even know what this ring is? The very ring that may have been responsible for so many great-grandfather's death? The very ring that totally screwed people over in the Yokai War? The ring that has been like tradition of the Caliber family for hundreds of years 
and they even in school they talk about it. We just saw earlier they teach history about this stuff. And they talk about the ring. It can't just be a family secret if it's just talked about at school. Like this is why you don't skip class, Ronald. You do not skip class. You can do April Fool's jokes to Stone Dollar. That's stupid. Stop using this freaking surfer lingo. Go to school. Get an education. Get a life. Uh, <sighs> Sorry, I just had to vent about that because really, that's a kind of a dumb plot point. Because you think that an item so like big in the Caliper family's legacy, you think by now Ronald would hear about it at least like once or twice. Like, I don't know if it was, like, uh, intended that it was going to get hush-hush from him, from the family, until he was, like, grown a certain age or whatever, but even then, why? I can show you the way. Sweet! Thanks, Solid. Come on, then. Show me where this awesome ring is. So they ride off to the outside of town, despite just talking about a dead body found just moments earlier. Why is Sala taking Ronald here when he advised against leaving the village? I don't know. What is this place? In there. Um, so what happens now? Well, you see what happens is, you get your golden gauntlets. Whoa! Oh, I'm guessing this is the entrance? Could it be? I will stay here. You go. Uh, okay. I'll be back as soon as I can. Man, this is like the least deadliest tomb I've ever seen. Only the blood of True Caliber will open the way to chaos. works um is this well it? that was anticlimactic what the don't tell me solid he runs back outside to find solid a stereotypical wizard solid. that looks like the first boss from an rpg so you're the boy who is the heir to the caliber family good after I use you as my hostage, you could be buried right next to this clumsy oaf. I ain't gonna like the Caliber family, I think they're jerks. And I'm a butthole. <laughs> Don't ever. Huh? Try to. What's with this insane amount of energy? Hurt my friends! Welcome! Punch! Are stone golems just like the mascot of the Caliber family now? That's enough. Okay, what's with all the hooded I'm people? Sorry. How come we can't see That's anybody's sorry. face in this episode? Save your apologies. If it wasn't for my son and his outstanding training results, then you would be a pile of rubble right now. Ronald's outstanding training results? Um... What training? We've already established he's left school, so I wouldn't imagine he's doing so great in that regard. What was that weird blue robe, um, green skin wizard person? Like, some kind of test from Ronald's father? And, um, oh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm lost. You lost me. Father, what are you talking about? It was you who took up the intruder, yes? I don't exactly see any other way that you could have defeated them other than the results of your training. Again, what training? You understand that Ronald does not have that many magical qualities about him. He doesn't know that many spells, if any at all. And what other kind of training is there that they teach these people? Like swordsmanship or something? He didn't use a sword, he just turned to a freaking rock golem and beat the frick out of that guy! So, the intruder tried to desecrate one of our tombs. Again, oh, why do they keep doing this? Solid, move the stone back into place. 
father. Um, you probably won't believe me, but... That's it. Tomorrow morning, you're going to represent the Caliber family at Yeoman Academy. Yeoman Academy? Yep. So don't worry anymore about this crap school that you go to that only hosts, like, jerks and snotty rich kids or whatever. No, you're going to go to the Hogwarts of the world. Have fun. was such this loveless episode one. As a first episode, of course it would be a little rough as Joker was probably trying to get a feel for how he wanted this episode to look and how he wanted the story to go. But the show has potential and if you want to watch it, here's a link right here to the full playlist of all the episodes that are available up until now. So and that's about all the time I have for this video, so I'll see you guys next time where I will either start a Let's Play or I'll do episode 2 of Succubus Loveless. But until then, I'm Chief Scarnet. The frick is at my door, and why did it knock 13 times? Hello? Hello? Anyone here? Huh? <sighs> That's it. I refuse to be paralyzed by this any longer. There is only one way to truly deal with fear, and that's to stare it in the eye and to show that you are stronger than it. Let's get this sucker done. Let's play this right here, right now. Ha <laughs> ha